welcome to Threadheads. This week marks the official start of summer. Woohoo! So we're hanging out poolside. But not just any pool. We're headed over to the McCarran Park Pool in Brooklyn. The interesting thing, it's been empty for almost 25 years and is now used for concerts and events like this year's Renegade Craft Fair. Hey, I'm Sue Blatt. And I'm Kathleen Habley. And we organized the Renegade Craft Fair. We had 400 applicants and 200 vendors, so it turned out to be bigger and better than we ever thought. Twigs and Heather, and we make sterling silver jewelry out of organic objects and hand carved waxes. The maple seeds were freshly picked this week and cast, what, four days ago for the Renegade Craft Show today. So there they are, fresh picked. Hi, I'm Christina from Adorn Magazine. We're a general craft magazine. We've been out about, about a year. We are all about embellishing, but we also do stuff from scratch and we teach people how to do everything. So it's really a craft magazine for everyone, even if they don't consider themselves crafty. People want, you know, want more crafts and want to learn how to do things. For more information, check out adornmag.com. I'm Jess Hitter dot Etsy. I've just started making clothes. I was making cycling caps with a little bit of flair. That's, that's what I do. I was a messenger for a long time. Just sort of started picking up people that way. Like people with these crazy hairdos. I was like, man, I'm gonna put a cap on that. And so I was always like, yeah, sass it up and take it to the streets. Hey, I'm Kim. I'm a member of the Department of Craft. I'm here with my cronies. Uh, we believe in truth, justice, and DIY. This is so exciting. We're here with Megan Nicolay. We actually featured one of the lessons out of her book in an early episode. Everybody kind of started coming to me with their old worn out t-shirts and saying, well, here, fix this. And I said, no, it's really, you can do it yourself. Instead of uh, you making everyone's t-shirt, now you can be like, here, here's a book. Keep cutting. <laughs> do it yourself. So in honor of both the summer and the McCarran Park Pool, we're going to take a lesson out of Megan's book and show you how to make a bathing suit out of an old t-shirt. Stick around. Need a bathing suit but don't care for the expensive price tag? Well, here's what you do. First, you need one extra large t-shirt. But if you like the mismatched look, go for two different colored shirts. Now cut the bottom hem off both shirts. Take your top shirt and cut two one-inch wide strips off the bottom. Cut each strip in half twice so you end up with four equal strips. Take your bottom shirt and cut off a one-inch wide strip. Cut that in half once so you have one long strip. Cut one more strip off the bottom, cut it in half twice so you have two equal strips. Now measure and cut 9 inches off the top shirt. Pin both of the layers together and measure and sketch a triangle that's about 10 inches across the bottom and 8 inches down both sides. Create a 1 inch arc at the bottom, then turn your fabric in a half circle and draw another triangle of the same dimensions. Pin inside both triangles and cut them out. Flip over one of the triangles and fold down the top corner 1 inch. Take one of the two equal strips, stretch it out, and place it over the folded corner. Now fold and pin both sides of the triangle in about half an inch. Sew both sides. Carefully fold and pin the bottom of the triangle up an inch. Sew a seam leaving an open tunnel to put the strip through later. Repeat all those steps to the second triangle. And when both pieces are complete, take your one long strip, stretch it out, and attach the end to a safety pin. Thread the strip through the bottom of both pieces and you're done with the top. Now take your bottom shirt and measure a 19 by 16 inch rectangle. Pin and cut it out. Trace an hourglass shape onto the fabric. Pin and cut that out. You want the narrowest part to measure 4 inches across 11 inches from the top. Flip it over and fold and pin each corner in about 1 inch. Now stretch and place each of the 4 equal strips onto a separate corner. Fold and pin in one side about one inch. Repeat to the opposite side. Sew a seam down both of these sides. Now make several small slits in the arched area so the fabric folds easily. 
Fold and pin the remaining two sides, then sew a seam down both sides. And you're done with the bottom. You now have a sweet new bikini. And be sure to check out Megan's book, Generation T, for more cool ways to transform a t-shirt. Last week, Ryu Loves You 13 wrote in, Can you guys make some more of those quickies? I love watching them and would like to try some more of them out. You got it, Ryu. Starting next week, we're launching our brand new segment, How To Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, check back for a quick tip on how to create a new DIY style for the summer. And if that's not enough, make sure you hit up the Threadbanger Forum for more cool ideas and tips. Like this one on hybrid t-shirts sent in from Fender Needles. Thanks, Fender Needles! Remember, keep the comments, keep the questions, keep the videos coming, send them in, threadbanger.com. Until next week, see ya!